Hello again. And if you don't know me by now, oh, that's sad. No, it isn't. It's Brother Sean. And I'm coming to you this time really and truthfully from my own life experience, from a heart that really did block embracing Christ consciousness. That is an awful truth to admit to, but it's true. I blocked it. I well and truly blocked my heart from embracing the cosmic Christ. And I guess the real reason for that was fear, coupled with spiritual arrogance, because then as a Catholic Christian, a nursing monk, I guess I had a mindset that was focused more on the teachings of the Church and the Cosmic Christ didn't focus in any of its liturgy, sadly. But I obeyed the rules of my party. Yes, I was a good devotee, but I don't think I was a happy one. I tried to be by doing more prayer and more penance, but it only made me more miserable. So fear was the reason why I blocked my heart from embracing love. And you may be surprised at that. A monk, you think that monks and nuns have a clear pathway to God. Well, none more than you. And if you are not of the monastic life and you're not a Catholic Christian, but you're just a beautiful soul who embraces all that there is, then you are well ahead of me. And I congratulate you. But I guess my early childhood was infused with so much fear too, with the hellfire and damnation from the priest in the pulpit. But thankfully the church has moved on, but many have been left scarred, and they're the ones I want to reach out to to offer a hand of friendship and say it's okay that we did this dreadful thing to ourselves, where we denied ourselves, we denied our heart from being touched by the risen cosmic Christ. For many Catholic Christians who stick to the party line, including many clerics, they will not go along with the theme Cosmic Christ. But there's one exception, a good man, a man who paid the price like many of us for daring to speak his truth, and that is Matthew Fox, a Dominican priest whose theology was truly liberated. It was infused by creation spirituality, very much in tune with my own, because as an independent, Franciscan. I'm not owned, influenced or controlled by the diocesan bishop or by Rome. I'm a free spirit. But yes, I am a Catholic Christian and I carry out many of the devotions in my own life, but I'm free. I'm free of all that fear and guilt and nonsense. And I'm not afraid of dying like I was. My poor mom, when she died last year, she was petrified of dying, petrified of going to hell. Is, isn't that sad? Isn't that tragic? That you live your life to the best of your ability and you live in fear of crossing over to come into the presence of the Supreme. This is bad news. And it's this very same news that Jesus warned us against the false prophets who control our thoughts, our thinking, and who shackle our heart with guilt. And sadly, that is embedded in the Abrahamic faith. You only have to look at what's happening in the world right now. Especially within the Abrahamic faith. Our historical woundedness goes back many thousands of years, in fact, long before the Christ was born. 
But let's just reflect on what Matthew Fox says, and it may help you unblock your heart to the Cosmic Christ. He says, the Cosmic Christ is present wherever there is pain. And my word, we've all tasted pain at some time in our journey, haven't we? Let's be honest. He says, the Cosmic Christ, Christ unites all this pain in one divine heart. How beautiful is that? In one divine heart. In the one divine but wounded body of Christ, which is the body of the universe. He goes on to say the cosmic Christ is the crucified and suffering one in every creature that God has made just as much as the Cosmic Christ is the Radiant One waiting for you and me, oh yes. The Divine Mirror glistening and glittering in every creature. Divinity is not spared suffering. That is the lesson of the Cosmic Christ who suffers to this day when brothers and sisters kill one another when they defame the good name of another. Many forget, as I did, that when you utter an unkind word or get involved in gossip against another or to another, you're actually wounding the divine within that person. And the words of Jesus, who became the risen cosmic Christ, said, Love one another as I have loved you. Greater love than this has no man than he lays down his life for his friends, for I call you my friend. Why didn't I hear that? I was aware of it. I had it drummed into me as a young lad, as a nursing monk. But I blocked it for fear of embracing a new age heresy. I convinced myself Cosmic Christ was another cult. And the Cosmic Christ has been calling me for the past 64 years of my life. And it's only in the last five that I had an awakening to the most selfless love, to the most amazing heart of God. And I have no regrets now. And the reason why I do this YouTube and have surrendered my heart to living a simple life in the footsteps of Francis, honoring the teachings of the Christ, respecting the teachings of Rumi, the Prophet Muhammad, Sri Chimoyen, the Lord Buddha, Vishnu Ganesh, Krishna, even Gandhi, and many of the world's great mystics, like Teresa of Avila, Hildegard of Bingen, John of the Cross, Therese of Lisieux and many more. My heart is open to all fates. And when I heard the call of Francis in Assisi in 2008 to reach out to all fates and none, little did I realize, little did I realize that I would experience the crucifixion myself from within my own family. The Catholic Church. And sadly, many within the interfaith movement are also antagonistic because you use the word Jesus or that you are a Christian Catholic monk. They offer God lip service when they behave like this. For God is calling us his children, his beloved. The cosmic Christ calls us brother and sister to be the beating heart of God. And yet there are blocks in our life to embracing a spirituality that is vibrant and living, rooted, inspired by the risen cosmic Christ. That is not to say one is embracing Catholicism, Christianity or Islam. No, you are embracing the Christian, the non-Christian, cosmic Christ, the non-Muslim cosmic Christ. 
you are embracing the Son of God, the I Am Presence within you, who bypasses religion. Religion is man-made. It's not God-made. It's our way of connecting with God. And the blocks that I put there were through fear and then through spiritual arrogance because I convinced myself as a Catholic I knew better than anybody else. What an awful crime that is. But I repent of that each day. That's why I've offered my life to be what I am.